first sign of snow flurries on our football excursion this year as a hurricane blows north through Blacksburg, Virginia. This game is a sellout, so much so they have erected special bleachers to add another thousand fans to Lane Stadium. For Miami, Edgerin James. He had runs of 39 and 41 yards last week and has averaged 6.2 yards per carry. He's going to be a vitally important cog in the offense tonight. So too the wide receiver, freshman Reggie Wayne out of Marrera, Louisiana. And the offensive line is anchored by the right tackle, the senior Curlin Blades. Popovich is number 33, Santana Moss 48, standing deep as Jimmy Kibble's got the ball teed up at the 35-yard line. And we are underway as we welcome you to Plexburg, Virginia. It's a squibber that's going to go out of bounds, and so Miami will be very happy to take it over. The Virginia Tech defense, John Engelberger, he is going to be a very busy man tonight. Has three sacks on the season. Steve Tate, a walk-on story. He is magnificent, and Keon Carpenter returned a interception last year, 100 yards against Miami to clinch the win. And here's Edgerin James, first carry of the night. He's got about three yards on the play. Over 344 yards of offense last week. It is second down and six, and out of the eye formation, here's Edgerin James. He's got himself a hole across the 40. Brought down is going to need a big game tonight to keep the Hurricanes in it. That's Fulcher in motion. James with a first down across the 45 and brought down. So it's first down and 10 for the Hurricanes up to the 49 yard line. James is the deep back in the I formation. And this time, Clemens' first pass of the night is complete out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Second and inches. There's Edron James, and he is going to lose a maybe a half a yard on the play. Headed up by referee John Smith. Defense, five yards, assess, the end of a run, my penalty first down. The Hokies have won 14 of their last 15 at home. And there's another flag. They can't adjust in their stance. That's the official song. Good call. Five yards, previous five, first down. On first down and 15. Joseph is the up back. Edgerin James, the deep back. Here's Clement with the pass to Reggie Wayne. Wayne's. And here's Clement to throw. Gets rid of it in a hurry. And he completes it once again to Reggie Wayne. He fumbles the ball. It is out of bounds. So Miami will maintain possession. And the Hurricanes are moving with relative ease. As Daryl Jones in motion to the top of your screen, and Edgerin James finds himself a hole that is quickly sealed at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 at the 16. This is the eighth play of the opening drive. Here's Clement to throw. And he's got a completion to the five-yard line to the tight end, Daniel Franks. Well, Clement, the senior, fifth all-time passing quarterback. He is four for four and 44 yards. Here's Edgerin James. Can't Break the line of scrimmage. Daryl Jones in motion. Here's Clement running the other way. He's going to cut it back, and he is going to score. Touchdown, Ryan Clement, his first rushing touchdown of the year. Once again, Larry Coker right on top of it, going with the misdirection play action. The point try. Straight down the middle. Miami on the board. 7 nothing. Now it's Virginia Tech's turn. He returns kicks. He is a part-time wide receiver. He is also a part-time cornerback. The kick is high and short and fielded by an upback. Across the 20 to the 25 to the 30 and finally brought down at the 33-yard line. They are in a must-win situation all the way down the stretch. Have a next week and then they finish at Virginia and then at home at Virginia. Now let's meet the offense for Virginia. Oxendine is the man. He has had four 100 yard rushing games so far this season. Ken Handy is a wide out. He's a junior who made his first career start last week. 
And Gennaro Dinopoli is a big time right tackle. He has started every game the past two years. Second down and 10. Clark, the quarterback who came into the game with a gimpy knee. And so Damian Lewis will be called upon. The freshman from Sulphur Springs, Texas. He leads the defensive line in tackle. Dan Morgan is a linebacker you want to keep your eye on. He's only 6'2 and 2'10, but he is very, very busy. And Jeff Popovich is starting a strong safety because the regular Dennis Scott is out for the season, tearing up a knee last week. First and ten, and this is Clark back to throw from the shotgun. Firing over the middle. It is complete. Wide open was Brian Remley. For Remley, only his second catch of the season. And out of the eye formation, the handoff is... Oh, no, it's going to be an option. And that is... Line of scrimmage is just outside the 25, and they've got to get to the 22 from the shotgun. Clark is going to run it. And Clark to the 20 yard line. He's got the first down. The center, Todd Washington, 6'3 and 317. And from the I formation, Oxendine gets the handoff and runs straight up the gut. Oxendine inside the 10 yard line and down to the seven. Just outside the seven yard line. Virginia Tech in their hurry up offense. Oxendine, the deep back in the I formation. And here's Oxendine. There's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Al Clark, the quarterback, is going to call himself an automatic. And give it to Oxendine. And Oxendine inside the 10. Back down to about the 8-yard line. And Virginia Tech ranked 12 in rushing offense. And on the delay, here's Oxendine. Slips and falls and gets back to the line of scrimmage. And here are the Hokies. It is third down and goal at the eight-yard line. Quarterback Al Clark in the shotgun. Has time to throw. Now he doesn't. Now he's forced to run. Can he get outside? Yes, he can. He fumbles it out of bounds. Shane Graham's a pretty good field goal kicker, too. It's a 22-yarder. Hash mark to the left. It's a difficult angle. But he nails it. So Virginia Tech answers with a field goal, trailing 7-3 in the first. Got it teed up at the 35-yard line. Moss and Popovich are standing deep. Santana Moss, and he can fly. Flag comes flying in. A... Well, that's going up against Miami. Edger and James, a deep back in the eye formation. Carlo Joseph. Well, the judge has gaveled it to order, and the order in the court at the moment is up in Wolverine country. And meanwhile, Virginia Tech has got to be a little bit nervous with Syracuse beating up on Boston College, and the Hokies now trailing by four. Ryan Clement with a high fly ball down the right field line, and what it is complete. What a catch! At the 37 yard line by Reggie Wayne. 6'2", 190-pound freshman, and they think this kid is indeed star caliber, and you see why. Edger and James in the backfield. Carlo Joseph is the up back in the eye formation, and here is Edger and James looking to circle right in. He does, and he picks up about seven yards on the play. The second down and two yards to go. Edger and James breaks a tackle, and on the second effort, it looks like he's got enough for the first down. From the eye, first and 10, Miami at the 49. Clem is gonna throw it, and he's gonna complete it out of the backfield. Carlo Joseph, and Joseph is inside the 30-yard line. Blocking fullback to make big plays. Meanwhile, Clement is six of seven for 95 yards here in the first quarter, and Edger and James Looking to cut at the 25, still on his feet and down at the 24. Second down, seven yards to go. Line of scrimmage, the 24, and Miami has come out flying. Clement has time, fires, and he nice completes pass. it inside the 15-yard line to the tight end, Bubba Franks. First down and 10. Edger and James trying to make something out of nothing. 
Finally is able to get out of bounds. So they're gone. Second and 13. Here's Clement to throw over the middle. He's got the tight end, Bubba Franks. He's finally brought down at the five, close to the first down. If he runs the bootleg that he had before, he'll walk in for the touchdown. Instead, he's going to burst straight ahead and get the first down the hard way. Let's do it with the linebacker and strong safety. Otherwise, he's going to kill him. Darrell Franks is flanked to the top of the screen. That's Fulcher in motion. Here's Edger and James for the touchdown. Hey, 12. A four yard touchdown, and suddenly the Hurricanes, six point underdog. And it's blocked. They can advance it. It is still loose. It was blocked by Carl Bradley, number 77. Kicks, Charlie. Later on, we'll give you a graphic regarding the defense and special team touchdowns. The kick is high and short. And fielded again by Andre Kendrick. And Kendrick is across the 25 and brought down. Al Clark calling it automatic. Ox and down. Across the 30 to the 32, a pickup of three. And so the Miami Hurricanes, they wanted to get off to the big start, and that's exactly what they did. Ryan Clement running one in from six yards away. And then Edron James ran one in. Second down and seven. They've got the ball at their own 32-yard line. Oxendine. He's got a hole. Ken Oxendine nearly busted it. Brought down at the 40. Well, you're a Big Ten guy. Last week when it was Penn State, you said, oh, no, they've got to stay number one. Well, Penn State got beat. They're done. And that is Oxendine across the 45. Eight carries, 42 yards for Oxendine. And this looks like a busted play. Clark is lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. It is third down and three. They have to get past the 49, and they will. Here's Clark. First time since the opening kickoff, the crowd is back into it. First and goal. And now Carl, wait a minute, on second effort, that's going to be a touchdown. Well, Marcus, Marcus Parker. Marcus Parker took advantage of the fact that Virginia Tech up to this point had been so effective in the option. Go back to Carl Ravage. Carl on his first carry of the night tonight. The touchdown. Santana Moss spins and he's down at the 44 yard line. It was then, but not now. First and 10, Miami at the 24 yard line. James Jackson is now the deep back in the I formation. That's the confusion. Ball start. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Three wides. And here's Jackson's first carry of the night. Jackson's got some room. Jackson has one man to beat, and he's not going to beat him, but he's going to get a first down across the 35. But give Charlton credit for the open field tackle. Saved the touchdown. And here's Jackson again, and he is down and for a loss. Second down. And 14. Good ball. This thing again, second down, 19 yards to go. And here's Clement to throw. Fires near side, incomplete. Intended for Daryl Jones. There, number one. There, number one. Have to talk to some Michigan fans about that. And here's Clement running for his life, throwing off his back foot down. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Santana Moss inside the 35. What a throw by Ryan Clement. Pick up a 42 yards on the play. It is first and 10 at the 32. Here's James Jackson. And he gets maybe three on the play. Second down, eight to go. Out of the eye. Gave it 
to the up back, Nick Williams. Third down. And about five to go. Lemon is in trouble. Rolling, flag on the play. Throwing, and it's incomplete at the 16-yard line. Holding against Miami. Because he's at the point of attack. As Ryan Clement leads his club to the line of scrimmage. Reggie Wayne is like way to the top of the screen. Man for man coverage. And Wayne, the intended receiver in the pass, is overthrown at the 15-yard line. Stands back at his own 10. And Green's going to let it bounce, and it's going to bounce. Dead at the one. Oh, the That's hope huge. he's breathing a sigh of relief. 38. with a short punt. Fair catch at the 27-yard line. Clark came into the game with a gimpy knee. He did not play last week. And here he is rolling and throwing and completing it to Marcus Parker. Parker cuts it to 40 and finally is brought down at the 47-yard line. Parker and Oxendine line up in the I formation. Pitch out, and that's not exactly where Clark expected Oxendine. And so, as a result, a loss of about seven on the play. He was not only there, their best wideout. Now, here's the handoff. Oh, it's a little pitch out. The option to Oxendine, and he's brought down at the 44 yard line. Third down and 14 yards to go. With Clark in the shotgun. Andy and Gildersleeve are the wide receivers. Clark has a lot of time, a lot of time firing, and he completes it to the tight end. Sean Sullivan, he's going to be three yards shy of the first down. 85 yards for a touchdown this year. The left-footed punter plants it deep to deep. Into the end zone, Miami takes over. First and ten, Miami at their own 20. They've got a three-point lead. Clements' pass is complete to Nick Williams. He's run out of bounds at about the 23. Edger and James for a couple to the 25. He's met by a half dozen. Wayne and Jones. And Clements going to call himself an audible. Still has some time to get the snap. Had a lot of time, a lot of time firing. Ball's tipped in the air. Incomplete. Andy Crosland punting it away. Larry Green at his own 25-yard line. He's going to return it. Has nowhere to run. Down at the 36. Ike Carlton, rather Ike Charlton. The defensive back is now the wide receiver at the top of the screen, but the handoff is to Oxendine. Oxendine is maybe a two-yard gain. Charlton and Handy flanked to the top of the screen. Stewie is the flanker down at the bottom. Option to Oxendine, and he is going to lose yardage. Third down, third down and ten from the shotgun. Correction. What is third and ten? There is Clark. Pickup of about six, but he's well short of the and a quick kick. That is going toward the corner and bounced out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Here's Edger and James. James gets outside briefly and is brought down at the 26. Steve Tate made the tackle. 96 got a scholarship. This year he's their leading tackle. Second and four. First down across the 30 to about the 34-yard line. Edrin James just inside the 40-yard line of Miami. Here's James trying to make something out of nothing, and he is unable to do so. It's going to be delay a game. Huh? Dead ball, delay of game, offense, five-yard penalty, still second down. Seven penalties, 63 yards for Miami. On second down, 16 yards to go. Here's
here's Clement drawing off his back foot again incomplete. Seven true freshmen have started for this rebuilding Miami team with three timeouts left. Edgerin James picks up just a few. It will be fourth down. 40 something seconds left. Green with the fair catch at the 29. That's going to be a whale of a ball game. We'll keep you up to date on that. And here's a little pitch out to Oxendine. He can't turn the corner. He is able to get out of bounds. Second and seven at the 32. Firing, sideline, complete. The clock. Clock continues to run. Here's Clark firing, completing to Marcus Parker, but he can't get out of bounds. There's a flag on the play. About the difficulty that Miami has had. Ten yards, assess the spot of the foul, remains in first stopping the run. The clock is running with, well, you see, about ten seconds left. Tackled at the 25 by Dan Morgan, and that is where the first half has come to an end. Credit, he's been the man. And here we begin the second half with Ike Charlton. Charlton still on his feet, and he is down. South Florida handled the temperatures that are now in the 30s. They don't feel a thing. Ken Oxendine. Second and three out of the I formation. Oxendine has the first down to the 45. 17 carries and 103 yards. He and Marcus Parker in the I formation behind Alcorn. And Oxendine gets maybe two on the play. But in situations like this, second and eight, good opportunity for that very play. And from the shotgun. over the middle and he's got Marcus Parker at the 45 yard line it will depend on where they mark the ball it looks like he's going to be shy five catches 71 yards for Parker who is now the blocking back for Oxendine and Oxendine's got the first down to the 44 Virginia Tech has not led in this game two wides to the left Gildersleeve and Hendon Straight up the gut, Marcus Parker. They've got to get to the 34. And they lose some yardage. Parker does. Oxendine's got the hole and the first down to the 30-yard line. On this drive, eight plays, and all of them have been on the ground. First and ten. And here's the pass, throwing long toward the end zone. Charlton cannot hang on. Second down and 10. Marcus Parker straight up the gut to about the 26. And here is Virginia Tech on third down and seven. Clark's second pass of the half. That's completed to Oxendine. And He's got enough for the first down and drive. Derek Smith is back in the lineup now for Virginia Tech. And here's Oxendine. And he's straight ahead for maybe no oh, two or three. And the Miami defense does to the offensive line of Virginia Tech. Oxendine, a couple of more inside the 15 to the 14. Get Jim Druckenmiller as his quarterback, and that certainly opened up some options for him. Straight up the gut. Hawkins, touchdown. Cullen Hawkins just reported in. First carry of the night. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Great job because what happened is that Oxendine has the extra point. Good. Well, the Hokies strike first blood in the second half and take the lead for the first time tonight. The other kid was first touchdown. Turns around. Hey, hey, cool. He hasn't been there and he hasn't done it. Oxendine has now. Right now. Crowds back in it. 
and 10 at the 20 edger and james turns the corner and he's run out of bounds and picks up about nine on the play show that he can block as well second and one james cuts and gets the first down across the 30 to the 33 yard line beat up on temple and arkansas state it is a rebuilding process in Miami on many levels. Edger and James maybe gains a yard. Franks with three catches and 32 yards. And Ryan Clement has had an outstanding ball game. That's Carlo Joseph in motion. And Clement is forced to roll out of the pocket. He can run if he wants. There's a lot of room. He said he's going to throw long and incomplete. Intended for Darrell Jones inside the 30. And there's a flag on the play. <laughs> Dead ball. Illegal substitution. Legal substitution yeah. They've done a great job of protecting protecting Clement up to this point. Two flankers up to the top of the screen on the right side, and there is more motion. Third and 18. Clement firing long over the middle. What a courageous catch. Santana Moss. Catch. Eon Carpenter make the tackle along, makes the tackle along with Anthony Midget. First and ten. And Edger and James gets nothing. This is a track and field athlete. Came to Florida or Miami as a running back. Or as a walk-on. And We should be beaten up on these guys, especially with Syracuse having beaten Boston College earlier. The Hokies can ill afford another loss. Edger and James. Edger and James. Edger and James into Virginia Tech territory. And so now suddenly it's third down and five to go. Jones and Wayne are the flankers. Clement is unable to unload, and Carlo Joseph has a first down. This team, as we've documented, is very young. First and 10 at the Hokey 40. Here's Clement throwing down the sideline and incomplete. Second down and 10 here for the Hurricanes. They're trailing by four, but they're hanging tough. Here's Clement. He's in trouble. Down he goes all the way back at the 45-yard line. That was Pearson Prelo. I think we're going to get to that before the night is out. Uh. On third and 24. Clements down again. That time it was Kerwin Hairston. Ains do a poor job, and here's a quick kick. Andy Crosland's punt will drop dead at the 25-yard line. Get the same response. <laughs> no shot, pal. Boy. First and 10 at the 25. And here's Lamont Pegues with his first carry of the day. And he's knocked out at the 31-yard line. Second down and four. Here's Pegues. And he nearly busted it, but he did get enough, it looks like, for the first down. You see, in this case, that's not what's going to happen with Pegues. Looks like a little more than Flores now, doesn't it? First and 10 at the 35. On the option. Clark's going to take it himself. Clark has got himself a first down to the 46-yard line. The studio was. Holding offers. 10 yards. Spotted a foul. Remains first down. It is now first down and 19 yards to go. Pegues is deep back in the eye formation. And this time it is the up back Marcus Parker. And he picks up about seven on the play. Second and 14. Clark's going to throw it this time. Fire it. And he completes it to Ken Handy. His first catch at 46 is an unusual number from tight end, too. Third and inches and... I've been aggressive, but too much, sir. Good ball. Well, if Tom Washington, the center, is going... Brother TJ was a tackle last year on the ball court. And Bob must have been a heck of a cook. And here's Charlton. And Charlton. 
Charlton is down. Is there a fumble? Charles Woodson. Personal foul against Miami. It is first and ten for Virginia Tech. 28-yard line, Lamont Pegues. He's a deep back in the eye formation. And here is Pegues. He's got some room, and he's going to go. For Lamont Pegues, his fifth touchdown of the year. 27 yards, and the Hokies lead by 10. Right side of the offensive line. Her from Clemson with the touchdown, and Graham with the extra point. And suddenly, it's the Hokies leading by 11. Gennaro DiNapoli and Brad Baylor are the ones that create the big chasm for Pugis. That kind of wore him down, and yep. Pugis came in to clean it up. And a kick that is way deep into the end zone where Santana Moss. So Virginia Tech comes up large here in the... First part of the second half, Cullen Hawkins with the touchdown. Big sack by Hairston, and then the touchdown by Lamont Figgie. 11-point lead. Now let us see with Brian Clement and the offense of the Miami Hurricanes can do. James Jackson is in the backfield, and the pass is nearly picked off the intended receivers. Second and ten. Handoff. Jackson gets nothing. Maybe two. Clement's going to throw on the run. Nearly picked off again. This time it was Lauren Johnson who defends. Johnson on top of it. it certainly looked like he might have hit him early. The punt fielded by Larry Green down at the 32-yard line. So there really is no such thing as a hokey. It is just part of a cheer that's 100 years old. So what's up? Pagese only gets the three carries. Oxendine is back. And he's going to rumble and get back to the line of scrimmage. And not much else. Second down and nine. Here's Oxendine again. Cuts. And he's got some room. Oxendine brought down across the 40. And Al Clark coming back for a gimpy knee has played the entire game and played well. Pitch out to Oxendine. Running right. Cutting. And getting maybe a yard or two on the plate. Playing 25 freshmen this year. Clark is 8 of 9 for 99 yards. This time the handoff to Oxendine. And, and his team has won 14 of his last 15 here at home. It lanes. Clark is smeared behind the line of scrimmage. Kibble will punt it away. Kibble with a high left-footed boot. It's going to bounce. Out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Does Coach Beamer drive a Beamer? <laughs> Very nice. And here's the handoff to James Jackson. Jackson's down the sideline. Jackson may bust this baby and he will James Jackson touchdown Miami 78 yards no flags the freshman James Jackson and Miami's going for the deuce big conversion here big conversion Jones in motion flag on the play throw into the end zone did he get it no, they bobbled it. Flag on the play. There was motion in the backfield, Charlie. The tailback Jackson moved. The tailback moved while the man went in motion, and so even though he would have caught it, it doesn't matter because it would have come back. It appears that some of these people have an angle, but they just cannot match the speed. Take a look at Jackson. Now, he gets outside. Good block. Now, right here, some people appear to have an angle, but they just can't do anything with him. Picks him up and lays him down, and that's great speed because, Charlie, I can attest to the fact that when you have to carry the football, you're not as fast. In the last three games coming into tonight, James Jackson has averaged 10.8 yards per carry. That's good. And here's Charlton. Gets back to the 20. Oxendine in the eye formation, the deep back. 
gets nothing. Second down, 11 yards to go for Virginia Tech as the clock continues to run. Oxen down on the pitch out. Looking to get around the end. He can't. He's marked to throw. He's in trouble. Rolling. Throwing on the run. Long, wide open. Caught down at the 35-yard line. Marcus Gildersleeve. 47 yards. Each team with two timeouts left. Because they've been snapping the ball here with about nine and ten seconds instead of getting an opportunity to get in the huddle and hike it when it gets down to about two or one. And here's Clark to throw this time. Down the sideline. Gildersleeve's got a touchdown. No, he dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. Oh, doctor. Leonard Myers at the end strips him. Watch right here. Certainly a catchable ball. Right between the one and the five right there. Strips the ball and it comes out. Some now the big play. debate there would be as to whether or not he crossed the line and he had control. The official right on top of him. Now obviously we're in slow motion, so it may not be the time factor. Here, one, two, doesn't quite have it. There's the strip as he goes down. I think that given in actual time, the officials made an excellent call. Third and ten. Clement to Oxendine. Cuts at the 35. Still on his feet at the 30 and finally brought down at the 27, but still well short of this is a 45-yard try. The holder, Caleb Hurd, is his cousin. They've been going to school together since they were four years old. All in the family from 45. Got it! Bram and cousin Caleb. But there's a flag on the play. To the kicker, assess from the previous spot, and we'll give the kicking team a first down. Well, hey, he gave would, back. He, he would work well in Raleigh. He gave back points. Let's see how this works out for Virginia Tech. Here's Oxendine. No point in running out of bounds. You want to keep the clock going. I don't think he got the playoff. And a penalty. A points off the board. Now you're going backwards. Five-yard penalty. Remaining second down. This is a game Virginia Tech simply cannot afford to lose. Second and 15. Oxendine still on his feet to the 22-yard line. And now it is third down. And nine. Here's Clark. Gonna run it. He's got some room. And he's got a first down to the 11-yard line. Dan Morgan made the tackle. Eighth carry of the night for 39 yards. And Virginia Tech could still get another first down. First and 10 for the 12. Here's Oxendine right up the gut. Down to the 5-yard line. They certainly wanted to take as much time off the clock as they could. Each team with two timeouts left. And down again. Back to the line of scrimmage and maybe gained a yard. Parker and Oxendine in the I formation. Third and four at the five. Oxendine cuts and gets nothing. Chad Pegues, who was injured earlier, cousin Caleb Hurd will be holding for Shane Graham. He's got it from 22 yards. And now the Hokies with an eight-point lead. And Miami has two timeouts left. And the kickoff is high and very short. Fielded at the 15-yard line by Popovich. Popovich still on his feet. And finally brought down at the 34-yard line. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. Jackson, the deep back, and that is Jones in motion, and Clement to throw, and he gets rid of it just in the nick of time, Daryl Jones, and Jones is across the 40, second down and three. Clock running, and again, Miami has two timeouts left. They're going to hand it off. 
James Jackson. Jackson got some room. Jackson may go. He's finally pushed out of bounds. At the 35 tonight, 19.8. Plenty of time for Miami. And here's Jackson again. Jackson inside the 25 and down at the 22. Steve Tate made the tag. In the fourth quarter alone, James Jackson, four carries for 117 yards. Wow. First and 10, Miami at the 23. Here's Jackson. He's not going anywhere this time. And they've got two timeouts. Jackson is the deep back in the I formation. Clemens going to throw. Sideline complete. Jones inside the 15-yard line. James Jackson, the deep back. Gets the handoff. He's got some room, and he's going to score. What a great block by the fullback in that play. And so now for the two-point conversion. Intercepted. It may be a two-point conversion, all right. But it nearly went two points the other way. Pearson Prelo with the interception. And what a night he has had. And Miami has one timeout left. right here and see as the ball touched a little bit early see right there it certainly is yes, if he got it was. He got touched a little bit early by number 23 Dwayne Starks Wayne comes up with the ball big play and let's but see the official caught it. he they did. did oh 50,000 folks but after talking about it in conferencing he opted to do it but nonetheless it was the right call it certainly was and here's Ken Oxendine and Oxendine gets maybe a couple. He, and now Clark is going to call an automatic. Well, here's Oxendine. Oh, he nearly found himself a seam. Third down. And a long two. Oxendine's got the first down, and that's the ball game. So now struggling, etc. But they gave the Hokies all they could handle. They came within that two-point conversion. And I think that he's got to be very happy with the development of these young people. And oh, Virginia Tech will come away with the win, improve their season record to seven and two, continue to lead the Big East. And Frank Beamer, his team will 